with these kind of works, I, I, I don't have a, um, a final picture in my head, but what, what I'm trying to convey is a, a, is a feeling, a, 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 a narrative. I um, uh, was an eye surgeon at Drakemore Hospital um, from 1994 until I retired, um, probably about five years, six years ago. Um, and then after that, I started to come to the WASP studios and now um, I'm a, an artist. It was something that I'd enjoyed at school, but uh, had stopped doing uh, after a second year. Um, science subjects took over and uh, embarked on a, a medical career. So um, when I knew I was heading for retirement, um, a close friend, another eye surgeon um, who was going to art classes, he suggested that I come along and um, I did that at Melbourne Academy. Uh, Hugh Kirkwood was the artist that was taking the classes mm -hmm. and uh, I enjoyed it and found that uh, it all came flooding back. Um, I discovered that I could still draw and then with Hugh's uh, guidance I started to learn how to use colour and uh, during uh, the pandemic and uh, then the first lockdown, um, we, I had been working in the, in the studio here and then because of lockdown I was unable to come here so I set up a studio in my kitchen and I was you know, spending time painting things that became the garden and things like that. And then I saw on Channel 4 News uh, an item about an artist called Tom Croft um, who he had devised this way of um, saying thank you to the um, workers in the NHS, nurses, doctors, uh, ambulance drivers, anybody really that was in the front line and um, he asked them to send Instagram photographs uh, that they might want to be made into portraits and uh, this sort of struck a chord with me. I, I'm always uh, I'm a figurative artist in the main and uh, enjoy painting portraits. So I thought, why don't I try and join this uh, initiative? So that's what I did. And uh, through Instagram, uh, doctors, nurses sent me images, and I painted a portrait. I set myself the task of painting a portrait a day, um, four hours maximum to paint a portrait, and then sent it back to them by, by post. Uh, as a thank you for, for their, their hard work and their, um, you know, what yeah. they've, they've done for us during the pandemic. And uh, the feedback I got was, was great, they, they seemed to like the, the paintings and uh, it sort of kept snowballing. So um, over the course of the, the time that I did it, uh, I painted 37 portraits. I like dogs and I like horses and uh, I think horses are fascinating because they have a great sense of movement and dynamism and uh, I'm always trying to achieve that sense of energy in, in the, the paintings that I do of horses. Um, I try to be more abstract when I'm painting uh, animals um, just because it lends that, that sort of form uh, lends itself to that dynamism, that energy. Um, yeah, so they, they, it's something that I, I love doing. Yeah. You know, there's some parts of this that I'm happy with um, and others that I'm, I'm still uncertain about and it will probably change and progress um, as some things work and some things don't. Um, so I did want to, um, the, the initial phase of this is, is with the drawing and then um, I wanted to add some flesh to the, the main character main character's face may not remain like that, but I just wanted to get some colour down so that the colours could start to, to relate to each other. And uh, then I can make decisions about whether to um, include other um, colours or, or maintain background coming through, things like that. So lots of little decisions that are made um, as the process goes on. And um, if I find that things are... are if when I'm in the flow and things are happening quickly and um, I'm making the right decisions, then things are going well. But if, as my decision making slows down and things um, become more difficult, I'll often put the piece aside um, and just let it sit for a while, um, maybe several weeks, and then go back to it. So my motivation really was um, I was affected by the, 
the plight of refugees coming from Syria and also more recently from Ukraine and the journeys that they were having to make uh, across Europe and across Mediterranean and more and again across the channel to get to get to safety and um, I just wanted to try and um, capture uh, the, the difficulty and the stress and the danger that they, they were going through. Um, I didn't want to be accused of um, appropriation because I haven't experienced um, what they're suffering, but I wanted to invoke in the viewer a degree of empathy with their situation and an understanding that um, these, these people, these human beings, are, are really fleeing uh, some terrible conflicts, uh, trying to become safe um, and trying to be with loved ones. And uh, I was also wanting to counter the quite aggressive rhetoric that was coming from, from other quarters with regard to their uh, situation. And uh, yeah, that, that was really my motivation. Yeah. Again, my, my granddaughter Naomi, I tried to paint a portrait of her uh, since I started uh, at least once a year, uh, just as a a record of her growing up. Uh, she's a great um, muse, if you like, and so I, I include her um, as, as, a, as portraits, but I also use, use her as a model for, for some of my figurative works as well. Okay. So, so I do use my grandchildren and my daughters um, as, um, as, as models, really, for, for, for those pieces. Yeah.